Hello, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. Hope you're all having a good weekend. One of the things we like to do is we like to do an ETF overview recap. Why? Because the ETFs are a broad brushstroke of what industry groups are strengthening, what industry groups are falling, what industry groups are going sideways. And what do we look for? Well, naturally, you want to buy stocks that are going to go up in price. Well, ETFs can influence the stock price movement, but more importantly, they can show you themes. And don't you want to find things that are doing good, that are going up in price? And this helps us with a broad overview. So let's do it. This is a daily chart. Biotech ETF, by the way, on each one of these, I normally have the ticker symbol on it, right here on the chart. But if not, it's always in the upper left-hand corner if you ever want to refer to it. And I'll, I'll say the ticker symbols on each one of these, okay? There's ARKG. This is biotechnology. This is the 50-day moving average line, 21 EMA, 8 EMA. And this is the 200 down here. And it's below the 50-day and it's fallen, all right? Maybe it's going to bounce back, but notice it's lost some leadership. Is this a group that you'd really be focusing on right now? No, not really. Here we go. Genomic. Okay, this is innovation ETF. This one was a rocket's red glare and dropped like a rock, okay? I mean, this thing lost a lot of value. Is it over? No, not at all. I'm not saying that at all, but it's below the 50-day. What does this tell us? This was a ETF or is an ETF that buys a lot of the fast, high-growth stocks, okay? Quality, though. They don't buy junk, okay? But it got hit pretty hard. What would that have told us when this thing was really dropping? Hey, you might want to be careful with a lot of the big, uh, with the, the growth stocks. And have you noticed what's happened like the last several weeks, folks? What's leading? Is the NASDAQ leading? No. The growth stock sector, is stock, stock sector, that's easy for me to say, isn't leading. What's leading? The bigger industrial stocks, hence the Dow. Isn't that neat? Connecting the dots. And you can say, well, I'm going to buy technology right now down here. Why impose your will on it? Let, let, the, let the index act, action, let the price action guide you. Keeps you safe. Cloud computing has been really strong, but lost a lot. Came all the way down to two. Now it's bouncing back up. Now, here's a good lesson for you. You say, oh, it's bouncing back up. This is great. What's one slight negative? Actually, there's a couple. It's below a falling 50-day. That's a negative. Two, it rallied on decreasing volume. Look at this. See that volume dropping off? I'll draw it for you. Just so that we're all tracking together. Now, am I saying it's over? No, I'm not saying it's over, but it's not showing a lot of power. This is all power here. This isn't. Remember that. Energy, still strong. Look at that. Steady grind. Good to see. What does that tell us? Focus on energy. IBD50 got hit pretty hard, starting to come back a little bit. That's good to see. That's good to see. This is a good proxy for the leading into, um, stocks, okay? This one focuses on the max list stocks. Fell. It's coming back. First trust, FE. And it's coming back. And that's good to see. By the way, notice I put the note on this. That helps me remember, gosh, what do they own? They own a lot of the max list stocks. That helps us. Gold, right here. Gold miners. What does this say? In, in one second, it says, don't buy any gold miners, folks. What's this one say? Hey, don't buy any junior gold miners. Just go to the next one. Don't overthink it. Don't dwell on it. Remember this. Better things happen. This is a fact. Better things happen above a rising 50-day. Better things happen over the 200-day moving average line. If you can remember that and stick with it, you will consistently make money. You will consistently control risk. All right? Not an opinion. Fact. Gold. Below all the moving averages, move on. And somebody says, well, it might bottom here. Might. I'd rather ride a trend. It's easier with less stress. Cybersecurity lost some luster here. Okay, lost a little leadership. Bouncing back. What's one slight negative? Bouncing back on decreasing volume. Needs to get back over the 50-day. Biotechnology fell hard, bouncing back, but you know, it's gotten a little loose down here. It's below the 50 day, okay? Wait till it shows more leadership. North American technology, similar situation. Lost a lot of leadership here, didn't it? Look at that. Coming back a little bit, but notice it's coming back on decreasing volume. Medical, lost some leadership here, okay? You can see it. Maybe it'll bounce back, but you know what's the best part? The maybe. It'll tell you what to do, but it is below the 50 day. Home builders, look at this, picking up. It was strong here. This is a valuable lesson, by the way. Everybody talked about COVID and it's the end of the world. 
and I'm not minimizing COVID, but through all the entire COVID deal, look at the nice move. There you go. Forget the opinions. Let price and volume action guide your thoughts. This owns a lot of the max list stocks. Also, a little choppier. Showed a little bit of life on Thursday. Needs to get back through the 50-day. Small cap. Now look at that. That's picking up. What is that? That's more of a risk-on type of environment. They're buying some small cap stocks. And it's been steadily strong here too. What has it said? Don't just focus on the big mega tech, big cap stocks, okay? A lot of the big max list stocks. Smaller caps are leading. That's good to see. Mid cap, similar situation. That's further evidence. Small cap, mid cap. Oil services, steady grind up, and that's been good. Software, lost some leadership. What's it need to do? It needs to get back over the 50 day. NASDAQ 100, you're really going to like this. Here's the NASDAQ 100. Steady trend, and I point this out to the, to the VIPs, and it is below the 50 day. This is NASDAQ 100. Here is, and this is the leverage one, here's the S&P 500. Look at QLD in relation to the moving averages. Here's SSO. What is it, folks? The S&P 500 is strong above the rising 50-day, the green line, above all the moving averages line. Hit new highs for the move on Thursday. That's the S&P 500. Here's the NASDAQ 100. See the difference? What does that tell you? Instantly, and it's been telling us, we've been telling the VIPs, be careful with a lot of the big NASDAQ stocks. They're not doing it. It's QQQ, similar situation. Cloud computing has lost some, lost some leadership, and it needs to get back above the 50-day, folks. Silver, no power here at all, is there? Move on. I mean, folks, in one, literally in two seconds, you can look at this and say, I guess I'm not going to be looking at any silver stocks, am I? Bravo. Bravo. You want to fish in a good hole? Fish in a hole where there's some fish. That's a profound statement, isn't it? Here we go. Steel, grinding on up. Looks good. Steady trend. Look for steel stocks. Semiconductors lost some leadership. Needs to get back over to the 50-day. Fell on heavy volume here. That wasn't Uncle Ernie selling. That was serious. Technology. Needs to get back over that line. Spiders, still hanging in. Just like SSO. There's SSO, as I showed earlier. Solar has been a steady trend, but lost some leadership here. 50 days starting to fall. Until it gets back above the 50 day, leave it alone. Better, better places to look. Small cap, just like IWM, strong. <clears throat> aerospace defense, close to new highs. What does this tell you? Maybe I should look at some aerospace defense. What, do you, what stock do you think is probably in this ETF? What do you think? Uh, let's see. Gosh, what could it be? It'd be a big, big stock. Oh, yeah, Boeing. There you go. You're connecting the dots. Biotechnology, another biotech ETF. Well, there's nothing happening here. Move on. Home builders, look at that. It's hanging in there. Keep watching the home builders. Materials, connect the dots. Home builders are strong. Materials, what does it take to build houses? Materials. Isn't that neat how you connect the dots? Love it. Communications, now this one's still fairly strong. Other technology ETFs are lagging, but this one's still strong. Something to look at. Energy. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What's it been telling you? Hey, focus on me. Nice steady trend. Financials. Still working. Look at that. Love it. By the way, what's a big financial stock, folks? Dow stock. What index is leading right now? The Dow. Okay? We're going to get to that in this, in this video, too. Industrials. Strong. It's called the what? The Dow Jones Technology. Oh, no, wait, no. The Dow Jones saw, oh no, that's not it. Oh yeah, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Technology lagging a little bit here. Consumer staples starting to pick up just a little bit, but nothing special yet. Utilities, leave it alone. There's nothing going on there. Healthcare, just going sideways, nothing special. Consumer discretionary coming back a little bit. It was steadily strong, but man, it got hit pretty hard. So you got to be careful with that. Metals and mining hanging in there. Retail, hanging in there. Everybody talked about, oh, the consumer's dead, the consumer's dead. Well, guess what? Going way back here, this chart was telling us it's something entirely different. I'll watch the charts and not the news. Software was strong, lost a little bit of leadership, but it's back above the 50-day. 
back to the top. Now, here we go. Watch this, folks. We're going to get down to this real quick. You'll like this. There's the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Steady. Here's the S&P 500 Spiders. Steady. See the chart? I'm going to go back. Dow, above the moving averages. It's only 30 stocks, and then what's your job? What's our job? Find the leaders in those 30 stocks. All right? S&P 500, Spiders. Fine. NASDAQ count. There you go. I'm not knocking the NASDAQ. I love growth stocks. But overall, money is going more into industrial type of stocks, the big stalwarts, than it is in NASDAQ. Can that change? Of course it can change. And when it does, we'll be ready for that switch too. But in the meantime, we don't argue with it, which is exactly why at this point in time, and I'm going to do it right now, just show you this, which is at this point in time, we don't own this, and we don't own this, and we sure don't own this, and we don't own this, and we don't own this, and we don't own this. Well, this one doesn't look too bad, right? There, look at this, Goldman Sachs. What index is it in, folks? It's in the Dow. Look at that. And we don't own this. And we sure don't own this. All right? You get my point. Connect the dots. Systematize. And I have a great feel for what's going on. And I want to share it with you. Why? To help you. It's what we do at Mission Winners. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.